Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Welcome to episode three of my iMovie tutorial. Today, we're going to go through how to color balance and color correct your videos and pictures, and also how to use the image stabilization feature that is in iMovie. It's pretty straightforward and easy. I'll still go into it in depth and try to explain all the features that are in there. Before we get into the video, please, please hit that notification bell, like, and subscribe. Everything helps. And yeah, now we'll get right into it. Let's go to the Mac. All right, welcome back into iMovie. What we're gonna do here, like I said, is show you how to color balance and color correct your videos. All you need to do is come up to the top bar here where everything is located, and this first circle here gives you your first set of options. Those are your color balance options. So you click in there, you'll have auto, match color, white balance, and skin tone balance. Auto is exactly what it says. It'll automatically improve your video quality. So I'll just click on this clip that I recorded today. And then if I hit auto, you'll probably see my skin tone improve a little bit. So I'll click auto now. And it probably, you probably notice it got a little bit peachier. I can hit reset and you see it's a little bit more pale. Auto, a little bit more color came in. I think for most clips that beginners are shooting, you might be able to get away with auto. The second feature is match color. This is if you have two clips. It doesn't matter if it was shot in the same room or different rooms, but you notice that the color is different in them. So I'm gonna take two extreme examples. I shot this video at the end to demonstrate the image stabilization. But as you can see, it's way darker than the introduction that I shot. If I want this clip to have the same color as this clip, all I have to do is again, get into the color balance settings Click the clip that I want to change, click on match color, and it'll tell you skim to a frame you want to match and click to preview. I want it to have the brightness of this clip. You'll notice when you come down to this clip, it will have a little icon there. And all you do is click into this new clip and now watch this box here. It'll change and get brighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Now I automatically matched my clips. If I wanted that, I would just check the box. And now my last video clip is the exact same brightness as my previous video clip. But I do not want that, so I'm going to X out. So that's how you match color. The next option is white balance. As you can see, it says correct the color of the clip based on a point that should be white or gray. This is pretty simple as well. I will use this clip as an example again. I selected it, it's highlighted in yellow. I'll click on white balance. And now it says select a color on the video frame using the eyedropper. And you can see the eyedropper here. If I want to white balance based on gray, I would click on my shirt. Obviously we do not like how that looks. So we could hit the X. Now let's say I want to white balance what should be white. This door is obviously white. And you might not have noticed again, I got a little more peachy color into my face. And I like that. So I'll show you again, I'll X off, white balance. I wanna select an area that is white to balance my video or my image off of. My door is white, I click it. And now hopefully you saw my facial color went from really pale to <laughs> having some life in it. I'll X that out again, and that is white balance. Skin tone balance is the same as white balance, only you're balancing off of skin tone. And I might be way too pale, but it never works for me, but we'll try it. So select the color on the video frame using the eyedropper. You wanna select skin tone, so we'll click on my cheek. And I personally don't like how that looks, but it doesn't look as bad as when we balanced off of gray. So I will X this out. So let me check another clip. We'll go where I'm facing the camera. I'll click on skin tone balance again, and this time I'll click on my forehead. And again, I don't like how that looks. It doesn't look natural, and maybe for my skin tone, skin tone balance doesn't work. So I will hit the X to remove those changes. Personally, whenever I'm editing an iMovie and I want to balance, I either use auto or just white balance. Those two seem to work for me. All right, the next setting I wanna show you is color correction. And that is the color palette right here. Select the clip you want to color correct with the color correction tool and you just click it. Now this is more manual. So this one, I'll just go through the settings. This is something you'll have to work on your own. Like it's your own personal preference. So when you have your video in here, I can't tell you what you want it to look like. 
I'll just go through some of the settings. So this bar here, the first knob, adjusts the shadows to make dark areas lighter or darker. So when you move this knob, it'll focus on the shadows and you'll either make the shadow lighter or darker. And you could go to the left to make it darker, to the right to make the shadows lighter. Easy as that. The middle section adjusts contrast to increase or decrease the difference between light and dark areas. So this is the space between light and dark. Again, to the left makes it darker and to the right makes it lighter. The middle circle just adjusts the brightness of the entire clip. Darker to the left, lighter to the right. The second to the last circle adjusts the contrast to increase or decrease the difference between light and dark, just like this one does. So you could use either, but now it's darker to the right and lighter to the left. And the last circle adjusts the highlights to make bright areas lighter or darker. This knob will concentrate on your highlighted areas, which means the brightest areas, and it'll brighten those areas or darken those areas. So to the left will darken your highlights, to the right will brighten your highlights, and you can see how it clips. The middle toolbar, this adjusts the saturation to make the clip more or less colorful. And you'll be able to see just by when I move the, the little knob to the left, it turns to black and white. To the right, it just brings out all the colors. You could see my gray getting grayer and my blue Yankee hat getting much bluer. In the middle, my Yankee hat looks black, sort of. But when you move it to the right, it comes in and it looks more blue. So that's fairly simple. It's one knob. To the left is black and white. To the right will bring out the color. And this dial all the way to the right adjusts the temperature to make colors warmer or cooler. Pretty much what this means is if you move it to the left, it'll bring out more of the blue in the picture. If you shift it to the right, it'll bring out more of the yellow or orange. So you could tell I move it to the left. Look how I would say icy it gets from normal picture to really icy and blue. And if you move it to the right, normal to really like warm and yellow. And again, that's another personal preference. So that is what these three settings do in the color correction tab. The third piece I wanted to show you was image stabilization. If your video is really shaky like mine is because I made this for a test and I shouldn't have probably done it like this, what it will do is stabilize your video. But let me play my video for you first so you could see the difference. So I walked out and look at me just wobbling the camera. It's really wobbling left and right, up and down. So this is the clip we're going to use the stabilization on. Just remember, wobble, 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 wobble. We go to the bar again, the toolbar here, and this little camera icon that looks like it's shaking is the stabilization. When you open it, it'll default to 33%. I usually leave it on the default, but you could play with this on your own, depending on how shaky your video is. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll leave it at 33% and hit stabilize shaky video. And now it's analyzing for dominant motion. And this will take a minute or two, or five, or 10, <laughs> but I'll fast forward. Okay, the rendering is finally done. Now I'll play that clip again. And you remember how wobbly it was before, but now you can notice it's really zoomed in, but it's, it's not really shaking. But you can tell the quality is diminished. Once again, pretty smooth video. Pretty smooth video. And now I will revert and I'll show you it again. You see how it zoomed out? Because now it's gonna have all the shake in there. And that's pretty much image stabilization for video. Like I said, if you're taking very careful video and it's not shaking a lot, but you notice a little bit here and there, this will work perfectly. And remember, if you want to kind of stabilize your movie manually, when you click the button, you could use this tab and you could set the percentage that you wanna use. And notice the more stable you make it, the more It'll zoom in because it's just pretty much cropping it to make it as less shaky as possible because mine was a terribly shot video. And that's about it. I showed you how to color balance, how to color correct, and how to use image stabilization. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know below. Please hit that notification bell, like, and subscribe. It'll really help my channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Later.